paper or plastic or cloth bags. You know, people in the tri-state threw away nearly 1,000 tons of plastic grocery bags just last year alone, according to the Sierra Club. And most of those likely end up in landfills or littering our streets and waterways. I'm sure you've seen them blow around. As WCPO 9 News reporter Pat LaFleur explains, though, one Cincinnati council member thinks he has a fix, but it could come at a cost. We are the people that we've been waiting for, and we're going to ban bags in Cincinnati. Thank you guys for being here. City Hall is ground zero when it comes to demanding action on plastic bags. Dozens gathered there last week to convince city leaders to do something about them. We're making a call to the city and we're asking them to ban plastic bags uh, for the environment, for animals, and for human beings. Today, City Councilman Chris Seelbach unveiled a plan he said has been years in the making. Any store or restaurant that sells food will no longer be able to use or give away or sell uh, single-use plastic, the flimsy plastic bags. There's a total ban in the city of Cincinnati. They have two options. They can get a paper bag that's recyclable or a heavy-duty plastic bag that can be reused. The ban would only impact brick-and-mortar stores that sell or serve to-go food. It would also impact big-box stores like Kroger and Target, but also small corner markets like Sunshine Fine Foods here on Elm Street. We've been in business for 27 years. Um, we do an array of your basic groceries, beer, wine, hot and cold two specials, hot and cold specials, five hot soups a day. If you visit Sunshine today, you'd get the option, paper or plastic. But owner Pam Griffin tells us that if that choice goes away, it could drive up costs. Plastic is definitely a lot cheaper. It's probably maybe a two cents a bag where we're going to go brown paper bag. It could range anywhere from five to maybe a quarter, depending on the size of your bag. There is a significant difference. But Griffin also says she'd understand if city council chooses to ban the bags altogether. I mean, if you look around and when it's blowing, it's the plastic bags more versus the brown paper bags. I just think it makes everything cleaner, nicer, and it's just, you know, I think it's better for the environment. And we got to start somewhere. Reporting from downtown, Pat LaFleur, WCPO 9 News. Seelbug tells us his office says that he hopes it will have at least a two, two different hearings, that is, for the public to really weigh in on, on, on this before it goes to the full council for a vote. So if you have an opinion on this, you'll have time. If the ban becomes a reality, it wouldn't go into effect until January 1st of 2021. And you can find out more details about how to voice your own opinion by finding Pat's full story right now on WCPO. Com. Well, this afternoon, Kroger weighed in on the proposed plastic bag ban. The Cincinnati-based retailer said in 2018 it announced plans to phase out single-use plastic bags at checkouts by 2025 and supports the city's proposal to accelerate this work.